I've come to Kensington Palace in London to meet Isabella Corassa, who has arranged to show me the waistcoat George III wore during his final days. OK. Oh, look at that. Yes. That's astonishing. Um, so this is George III's uh, sleeved waistcoat. Wow. We actually think this is from 1820, the year that he passed, and he really shows um, the condition of his health at that point. And what clues does this give us of George's so-called madness? Well, actually, it gives us a lot of clues. So the first one, the enlarged um, sleeve. So you have, we have a little panel. Um, adding a little bit more to the shoulder. And that would have helped his servants dress him, would have given a little bit more um, give mm. um, to the clothes. Because at this point, it's not only he was, as they called, mad, mm. um, but his hearing, his sight, they were all going. So he was in a very much vulnerable state. He sort of became something of a vegetable. Um, he retreated into himself, he lost touch with reality, and he started babbling for hours on end. So on one occasion, he babbled for over 50 hours, babble, babble, babble. His hair was grown long, so he looked like a sort of Merlin figure, and he would foam at the mouth. You know, with all the kind of spectacle of monarchy, this is the very last thing that you wanted to happen to a ruler, so he had to be kept away. And what about these stains here? Is just is that just aging, or what is it? Well, they're definitely food and drink um, stains. Um, from which point the food had come out, it's not really certain. It could have been just dropping, or it could have been dribble. Could possibly have been vomit as well. It's, yes, it's really hard to tell. But it does show that he was having difficulties mm. eating. But you can definitely see, like throughout the waistcoat, this all shows mm. how how difficult those those activities that today we think you know they're just common. Yes. Um, but for him, it was actually something really really hard to go Very through. Very difficult. Well, it is just an extraordinarily poignant reminder of George the Third not just in his madness, but in his frailty. So thank you for showing me. Oh, it's my pleasure.